Now, something that slightly um, escaped me is that when you come back here, we get new enemies. Um, these guys, um, they're kind of like the, the ninja y uh, creatures from uh, Onimusha 1. But they've got like these weird dog mask faces going on. Um, but they kind of act like them. They're sporadic, just like Onimusha 1. So just kind of wait for them to kind of come into you like that. They will just charge into you really fast. So yeah, they, they, they're basically like that. Um, but they've got weird masks. I think they make a return in Onimusha Dawn of Dreams, these ones. Or someone similar. Um, but mainly the black ninja ones, I guess, are cool. Because they are pretty much just black ninjas. But they pretty much the same. I'm trying to get critical hit. It's not too bad, really. You just have to... Like I say, it's all about timing. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. But um, they drop more gold. So that would be helpful. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about that. I guess I'll record some of this. Um, there was a little... Okay. <laughs> Look at my moves, Jubei. Look at my moves! I'm so good! Well, I'm gonna lock you in my uh, technique, man. There you go. We get 50 gold. So yeah, they normally drop, drop about 50. It's pretty good. Um, so that's gonna be helpful. Um, so I'm gonna grind a little bit here. I think... Stop doing that. <laughs> He's waiting for me, man. <laughs> and... Boom. Came into the wrong neighborhood, punk. Alright, let's go. We got any more? Any more? Any more? No, no. Alright. So, yeah. Um, there's also, uh, if you speak to Eke, which I think he should appear in the mines, um, you can also give him the folding fan I was talking to you about. Is that a dog? Yeah, I think it is. Um, yeah. I can't remember what the enemies are like in here, though, if they change. We'll, we'll find out, but... Um, yeah, I, I totally slipped my mind. Oh, hello, dude. Let's speak to him. There are monsters, but there is also gold. I don't want to die, but I want to be rich. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even see that dude there. Um, actually, if you come back here, um, if you there, there's someone you spoke to that I didn't speak to, but I will probably didn't want to come back. Um, everyone is so reckless. It's cool around here, but it's too hot deep inside. Yeah, if you go back, um, this person gives you a map to these, like, gunpowdery thingies. There shouldn't be anything in there, so I won't go in there. Well, actually, no, I'll just quickly nip in there. I've already been here anyway, but I don't think there's anything else. If you go back after a little while, there shouldn't be. No, okay, just, just up check. It's only a small room. But, um, yeah, if you speak to this guy, he gives you a map, I think, to, like, gunpowder or something you can find on the ground. I think it's in the mines. Um, I think, like, they shiny, they become shiny objects if you have the map. Um, oh, okay, never mind, it's Maguichi. It might be because I befriended Maguichi, I'm not sure, but I know Eke was in here. Um, so maybe I missed my chance, but uh, if you ever see Eke in here, and you have the folding fan, I believe, I don't know why, but if you give it to him in the mines, it has to be in the mines, um, you get A plus weapon. Not A plus weapon, sorry, A plus uh, item. So, you know, if you want that, there you go, sort of thing, you know. <laughs> I'm so tired, what do you want of me? I heard a rumor that this gold mine leads you somewhere unbelievable. But I'd say this gold mine is unbelievable all by itself. I came here to check this monster hunting gold mine. If you find anything rare, please let me know. I have stuff for him, but I'm not going to give it to him yet. And now we actually see more people working here. I mean, they said that he was only a survivor, but where all these people come from? I guess they... Just came from the town, I don't know. You're not familiar to me. It's hot in here. The air is thin. This is the worst place to work. There's also a rumor that this mine is haunted by the monsters. I'm scared. And I'm on, I'm homesick. Hmm. Maybe we should be working in here, but I guess they really want that gold. Hmm. Do, 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 do. If we come up to that cutscene um, that I'm thinking of, then that's fine. Um, I'll record it anyway. Um, this this uh, the, the, the playthrough is already, or this part I should say, is actually already quite long. So, yeah, I think it might be. Oh shit, Kataro! Shit, man! <laughs> oh shit! Ah, uh, we got these new enemies. These are from. Oh, I can never win these. I can never win these. Holy shit! I didn't even notice that. Kataru was like 
getting choked slam there. I mean, damn. <laughs> Just reminds me of Ganondorf or Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, those guys, they're definitely from Onimusha 1. Um, I think Onimusha 1. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking Onimusha 2, but I think they're in Onimusha 1. Um, and they're pretty strong. Um, yeah. I mean, I remember they choke slam Samanusuke. Yeah, his his um his ability is basically camouflage slash you know invisibility because he's a ninja. So that's pretty cool. But seriously, I mean, what the hell was that? <laughs> like shit. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. You're getting slammed, mate. <laughs> like what the hell was that? <laughs> Damn. Was not expecting that. I will admit. <laughs> It just, it just, Jubei just slowly walks out. Oh, guess I, uh, shouldn't interrupt them. Oh, okay. Got you again. Ow. Can I get a critical hit? He's a little bit difficult because, um, he just kind of swings a bit. Hello? Hmm. Too soon. Damn. Alright. I'm going to use one of my items. I just love getting critical hits, man. That's so satisfying. I'm not always going to get... They're in Onimusha 3. I know that much. I remember. They're especially in the training area. Or something similar to this. Isn't it? Oh, alright. Fine. So I've got two of them on my tail. Just die. Come here. Oh, it's a nice Quite a long part, so... Yeah, more of these enemies. Alright, now I'll heal myself. I've got magic, so I can get some more magic if I want. Out. Ooh! Okay, that, that was definitely unintentional. I can get a critical hit on these guys. But they don't drop that much gold. They drop like 10 to 20. So that's kind of poor, really. Damn. Nah. There we go. I thought it might be easier to do a normal one. So there you go. I got it. I'm happy. And, that, and it is better, to be fair. Ow. Oh, I guess we're transforming. Do 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 do. Man, I should totally play invincibility themes here. Die. Do 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 do. I love that intro. I think that's called Russian Roulette. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool intro. Na 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 I only know a little bit of Japanese. I do have a book on Japanese, actually. I just, you know. Hmm. Oh, I'm probably going to have to split this into two parts, but that's okay. That's okay. And we're back with whatever part this is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I grinded and um, I got a lot of gold. Um, thankfully the new enemies gave, gave me a lot, so, you know, um, I am, I think I'm going to start with, uh, Kotoru, um, and then, and then make my way down. I might have to go back to him anyway, because sometimes when you give a gift to someone, they may end up giving you a gift for one of the others, um, so, you know, you may have to go back and forth. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, now... If you leave the egg that I got before, it hatches into a chick. And if you give it to Katara as an A plus item, if it hatches into a, if it grows into a chicken, if you leave it too long, I think um, it's a B for him. Um, so you know, still give it to him. I think he's the best option for it mainly. So, so what he has to say. Ah, its smell reminds me of home. Ah, so apparently, what, he lived on a farm, perhaps? Yeah, so if you, if you give him a chick, he says, Oh, great chick. Um, I will, this will make a good 
um, travel companion. Now, if you give her a chicken, you can get a bee item. Now, that's also good because you can get one of these, which I'm very chuffed I got the first time, the fossilized bone. Now, the fossilized bone, um, if you get all of them, I think there's, I think there's three um, that you get. Uh, basically, you get one from Katoru. Uh, I don't think you get one from OU. You get one uh, from Eke and one from Maguichi. Now, I believe if you collect all three of them, there's a secret gate near the end of the game. You go into it and you get a secret item. So, yeah, if you want to try and aim for everything, try and get those fossilized bones. But you need a B plus item. Again, that's why I said recommend using a guide because there's no way you're going to know. Um, I'd also recommend speaking to these dudes every now and again. Normally they'll say the same thing, um, but sometimes I'll say something different. So, like, they'll give you a hint. And um, like, uh, I think Eke at some point will say, hey, I don't feel like drinking, I feel like eating sweets. Which means you can give him confetti and he'll be happy. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, he likes the fairy tale book, actually, which I was quite surprised. But I guess he's all into the fantasy sort of stuff. So let's give him that. I can get into this. His face, though, he's, he kind of squints like he, like he's like, hmm, who are you? You know, like, he doesn't trust you. Well, he's a ninja, so, yeah. So I think that was an A+, plus, so let's uh, let's carry it on. Um, I'll give that to Eke. I'll hold on to Folding Fan. If I see Eke in the mines, I'll give it to him. If not, I might see if I'll give it to someone else. The Globe. Now, he, like I say, he's a young dude. He's interested in sort of like the world and traveling and all that stuff. So anything related to that sort of, in looking out at different areas, you know, different areas, and like telescopes and whatnot. Just the world in general. About the different islands and stuff. So give him the globe. I always thought that the world was flat. No, sir. Looks overly whelmed with surprise. <laughs> and we get another medicine. You get you get a lot of medicines. I think is a plus, especially once you've got the power jewels. Which I'm I'm trying to aim for the power jewels first, obviously, and the uh, the magic jewel, and then yeah, go from there. Um, so, obviously that's OU, so, this is definitely Kotaro, because it's his only thing, and also, these do appear on them, as well. You give them these, uh, items, and they will show up on them. My friends will be jealous. They will always show up on them, so it helps them as well, which is handy. So, the next time you see them... And we got Barado Tech. Now, if I remember correctly, the Barado Tech gives you like a boost to your charge attack for that item, I think. Now, let's have a look. Where are we? This book allows you to execute a powerful charge attack. Yeah, so basically it's a stronger version. Um, you can hold it twice and it gets stronger. So that's cool. What else have we got? We got anything else to give him? I think we have. We've got a telescope, haven't we? And I think we've got the magnet, the magnetic compass to give him as well. Yeah, there we go. I think the mirror is for OU. Um, you can also combine it, I believe, with a comb or something that you get later on. So I'll keep a hold on that for now. Wow! I finally get to see one of these. Honestly, I'm just trying to see who I can get up the most. Um, I think it literally is like you know, if Eke is up the highest, even if you're all like say 80% high with everyone, I think it really just depends on who you've befriended first. So if you happen to be all like 80% high, but then you, but then the first, but then the, the first person you decide to get to 100 is Eke, then Eke will be the one who will mainly be with you, I think. Hey, power jewel, awesome. Um, I'll uh, use that in a minute. So, uh, yeah, they always give off, I believe, one power and one magic. So try and get them, so we can increase our health. Telescope, and I think, no, and their music box. I actually got quite a lot to give to uh, Katara over here, actually, yeah. Maybe I can see my home with this. I don't know. Is your home nearby, man? <laughs> I don't think it's that good of a telescope, but might be. Yeah, it's not like one of those you know, giant ones. Strategy book. Um, strategy book. Someone likes that. I want to say Kotaro likes that, but that would make no sense whatsoever. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Actually, um, I got my trusted book here. Um. 
Strategy book. Someone likes strategy book. Who is it? Who likes strategy book? Oh, Magoichi. Okay. Okay. I had a feeling it might have been him, so, alright. I was going to say, <laughs> if Katara likes it, that makes no sense. He just gave it to me. <laughs> uh, right. Um, music box. Yes. Again, not. I don't want to say it's not as obvious because it's not like to do with the planet, but you know. Music box. It's even better than I imagined. Maybe if you speak to him at some point, he might say that he likes music or something, or he's interested in it. I'm not sure, but um. And we get a Shurigama. I think you always get that. I think you always get that. And that's for Eke, so that's a boost in his defense, which is awesome. Again. You know, you can boost your side characters, which is cool. You know, whenever they appear to come and help you and stuff. Um, is there anything else? I think the red parrot is for OU, so I'll leave that. Um, yeah, I think he's. I think he sort of likes the cloth. No one really likes the cloth, I don't think. Unless, unless you combine the cloth with something later. Oh yeah, strategy book. Seems to like that. So yeah. From what I can tell, hopefully we are not wrong. This is extremely rare. Are you sure I can keep it? Indeed. Like again, um, I'm trying to befriend everyone, but uh, I do want, for now, I want, um, oh, hard boots. I want, um, what should I call it? I might be for OU, actually. Um, I want Kataru because he's got some quests, like I say, some unique quests to him. Yes, yeah, OU, so, um, you know. Uh, and Western Boots, that's it. So, yeah, you know. Obviously, I'm going to, you know, get get as much item, as much item, as much armor as I can for all these guys. Um, if I can get all the uh, all the armor upgrades, that would be uh, fantastic. Oh, my feet, thank you. <laughs> Man, the way you sounded that, the way, the way you sounded that, yeah. And we got the uh, the charge attack for the other one. The way he said that. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. Now I'm gonna give the history books I think to um, he says to to uh, AK to see if I can get that watermelon. Chances are I won't, but that's okay. You know that that's fine. All right, that's not a problem. Ah, now there's a side quest we can do here actually. We speak to AK. Uh, okay, and he says, uh, you know what, GB? Feel my a female pickpocket pickpocket robbed me of something important. I can forgive the money, but I won't forgive her for the very important item. Little mini side quest. Now, I don't know if there's one with the other two, um, where you have to go off and whatnot, but this is the one I know of. Um, pretty much happens after you do that, uh, you know, that sequence of the mind. So, we have to go find this woman. Now, she's at the far end of the town. Uh, where the horses are, the stables. Um, she appears in four places. The fourth being the last place, the place where she started from. So once you've got the other places, you just return back to the same place and there she is and then she gives you the item. Um, I do question why she wanted the item because it, it you know, it's, it's, it's a sentimental item, you know. It, it's, it's got that value to Eke, but no one else, you know. May not seem very important to others, but it's important to him. So here she is, hiding. Are you saying that I'm stealing? How dare you? Yeah, that's why you're running away. It's a weird contrast in that little area, I will admit. It's like grey or something. <laughs> well, hopefully this video hasn't glitched out for you guys. Hopefully it's okay. Hopefully my audio's in sync as well. That should have uh, sorted that issue as well. But, um, you know. Making some solid progress. Look at that guy sprinting. I think I saw him earlier. Run, run, run! <laughs> Alright, so... Second place she goes is up the top there. You might not be able to see too well, but there's like a green figure at the top there. Um, you just you just see her just above. Just above on the left there. I was going to say I'm surprised that Eki doesn't, like, hadn't noticed her because she's basically come into the bar. But um, I guess he's just so drunk off his face, it's just like, <laughs> Jubai, da, please get this for me. I don't know, it's, that's, it's my impression of it. Just random drunk person. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, go and talk to her. I don't think this guy really says anything, he just says he's like a traveller or something, so let's go talk to her. Stop annoying me! 
Well, why don't you give me the item then? Why don't you give me the goods, man? Jubei wants some servers. No, no, actually, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have no time for that. You know, he's got Nobunaga on his mind. He wants to kill him in several different ways, believe it or not. So, <laughs> alright, so we head out. And the last place, technically, because like I say, she gets, she's going to go back to where she was at the beginning, where the stables are, um, is the uh, the little... It's kind of like the mine, but not the mine. This little place here. Little, I guess like the coal factory, I don't know. Where we got the arrows. Um, we'll say that. Uh, she's literally right at the entrance. As soon as you walk in. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be left alone now. Give me the item you stole. <laughs> and of course, you may have guessed if you once you get the item, you give it to Eke. It's an A plus, definitely. You know, he he goes ecstatic. So you know. Hmm. Yeah, it's somewhat dra j jarring when you haven't played the game like a PS2 game for a long time, and then you ooh, I don't want to go here, and then you play it, and then like the loading times. Although I think. Uh, like Onimusha in general has arguably long load loading times. Um, I think, anyway. I think it's just on like Onimusha in general, you know. Like sometimes it has that slow transition. Then again, it could be my PS2 or my copy of the game. I'm not sure. Making it worse. Making it worse. Hmm. Alright. So, yeah, she's right back at the beginning. So, let's go talk to her again. Move! That yeah, guy's drunk. Hmm. I admit it. I admit that I uh, robbed that monk of a small bag, but it only contained junk like this. Hey, man, that junk is sentimental to um, Eke, so you know it's important to him. Let's go get that bell. Let's get that rusted bell. Maybe, maybe Eke will appreciate us, unlike last time when we gave him blum and wine and fish. Anything we didn't give him, give him his women. But seriously, man, we give him the items. This is all like you paid nothing for me. Well, you better appreciate this, dude, because I just got your uh, most valued item back, for sure. I think if you talk to him again, this is like he's gonna punish. He's gonna punish the women or something. I was like, oh, Eke, <laughs> easy there, fella. Um, I'll give him that in a minute. I'll give him the armor in a minute. I'll just give him it. It's crushed and looks uh, looks useless, but it's not useless to him. Jubei, how can I ever repay you? Anything, just let me know. Uh, we'll see. Maybe you can help me when the time comes. This is his pouring animation. I just see that he gives a hearty big laugh, and we get Hojin Yari Tech. Two. Now, I think that means that we've got the level 3 version of, uh, yeah, this book allows you to execute a super powerful charge attack by holding down, yeah, um, I can't remember how you get the, 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 um, the, 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 level 2, maybe there's another quest with the other two, um, or maybe, I think it might be just like an item that you give them, um, as you find, so, I'm sure I'll pick it up as a go, because I'm going to try to get everything I can, so I get all the gifts and whatnot. Let's have some fun! With that armor? I I guess so. Well, with the garment, because that's kind of what it is. It's not, he's not really wearing armor, it's like, it's like a garment, really. Super, super liquid, alright. Again, I think you could get a power jewel or something from that. Um, is this is a bit where he talks about he wants sweets. After drinking so much, I think I'd rather eat sweets for a change. Do you have some? Um, I don't know if you can get any more confetti. Because you spoke to that guy and he gives you some. Um, I think OU doesn't mind confetti. But um, if you talk to him, you know, he says he wants something sweet. And then you give it to him. He seems fairly pleased with it. So, you know, you can go ahead and give it to him if you want to get his uh, friendship up. Ooh, excellent. So there you go. Ooh, this is exactly what I needed. He comes to himself with a smile. Power jewel, sweet, sweet ass, <laughs> sweet ass. Now we got two power jewels. Still haven't got the uh, any magic jewels yet, but that's cool. That is cute. Oh no no no! All in good time. Uh, was there anything else? Ah yes. 
the leg guard. Man, we're just going gift hunting, man. The gift that keeps on giving. Maybe that's the part I'll name this. I don't know. This is all mine! Yes, it is. It's got your name on it. <laughs> it says EK only. His eyes open wide with joy. Oh! Okay, there you go. He, you know, he gave me both of them. Well, that answered my question then, didn't it? <laughs> awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. Looking good, man. Making some good progress. Um, let me see. Well, technically he likes it, but seems he only likes it in the mind. So, I don't know. I'll give it to someone else at some point. Actually, let me have a quick look. I've got my guide out. Let me have a quick look. Um, does anyone else like the folding fan in general? I can... And if you combine it with a chime that you get later on, you get an A plus weapon. So there's that. A plus. I keep saying weapon. A plus item. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So really, the only other one is um, guitar. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep, keep a hold on it for now. Um, you can get the love potion to um, Eke, I think. I think he just means to give it to a woman. Like, you give it to him, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to give this to a woman and make her fall in love with me or some crap. I think. I think. Something like that. Um, it, it must be, because I'm pretty certain <laughs> he doesn't swing that way. And I'm pretty certain not as not you, babe. But um, there you go. But it says A, so... But um, obviously, I'm going to give it to the one and only Oh, you, Of course. Of course, you know. Um, right, so, I think it's these two, yeah. So, I'm not going to get a fantastic reaction because he doesn't particularly like these, but I think these are C's at least. So, you know. I'll take it if you insist. Yeah, so he's like, eh, I'm not really bothered. But that's okay, that's okay, because um, I just want to see what I can get. The, the, the deer horn, okay. And I'll do it again. And I believe, yeah, they're all average. I think, like, there's only one history book that, like, uh, Maguiji likes, I think. Something like that. Well, better than nothing. That's true. Then again, if you don't really like the gift. He looks glum. <laughs> watermelon, there you go. Exactly what I wanted. Awesome. I know he wants the watermelon. But I figured you'd, you'd just, just give it to him. These guys are just glum. Um, okay, I guess I'll leave it for now. Um, when, well, in the next part, I might see what you have to do exactly. But um, I'm pretty certain. I mean, that's what he wanted. Hmm. See, no one likes to chalk from what I can tell. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, we'll say it for now, guys. I'm going to say it for now. Um, you know, this is definitely two parts easy, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, and then um, we'll most likely continue with plot, but I'm going to... Uh, you know, see what I could do with um, with that chalk, I guess, and the watermelon. See if I can do anything with that. If not, we'll just carry on. See how we go. And uh, yeah, I think we did pretty well. You know, uh, speak to this guy. This is a guy I believe has the map. Yeah, potassium nitrate. Potassium nitrate is the basic ingredient for gunpowder. We don't have a gun yet though. But I'll buy. I'll buy one. Yeah, I think... Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I, thought I clicked on no. I was like, no. Nah. Now, before we do this, uh, before we uh, save, do I have to switch weapons? No, I don't. Okay, we're all good. I, uh... got quite a lot of souls that I have, uh, haven't actually, uh... used yet. So, I leveled that up. So, that's cool. Um... I don't want to... What do I want to do next? Um, I'll go for I'll go for the top half, which I think is mainly his defense. I think. Oh man, we're not even gonna have enough. Damn, I needed about nine. Yeah, I feel like you need a lot of souls in this game compared to like one in three. Uh, maybe they felt like in 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 three that they're like oh two that's a lot in this. So maybe they felt like they didn't want to do it or something. You know they they felt like it it, it was um 
you, you, you did a, you needed to do like a lot of grinding, I guess. I don't know, but um, yeah, it seemed to do that for some reason. Anyway, guys, um, this has been long enough. Hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, session of uh, Onimusha too, and I will uh, catch you guys almost well, likely some more gift items and whatnot and some crazy stuff I think are going to happen next part if I remember correctly so yeah stay tuned till then guys catch you later